Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to one and all. Abiraha was the governor of Yemen under Najashi. So Najashi, not the same Najashi as the one that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's companions immigrated to, but his father. That Najashi had conquered some areas of Yemen and he had sent his governor and his governor's name was Abiraha. So Abiraha was the governor of Najashi in Yemen. And he saw his people every year go north. So he said, where are you guys going? So they said, we have to go to Hajj pilgrimage. He said, why? What is there? They said, there is the house of Allah. So he said, I will build you a house that is far better than any of your houses. And you will come for Hajj under here. So he built a massive cathedral because they were Christians and it was out of class and out of can you imagine in Arabia to bring stained glass because they had to access to these architects and what not and he built a cathedral in Amman the likes of which he thought and it would become the biggest temple of Christianity in the entire Arabian Peninsula and he then said all of you have to come over here rather than going to up north to the Kaaba and when one of the Benoims heard this he went there but he went there to relieve himself number one and number two and he went there and he did that and he became so angry Abraha then he said as revenge I will destroy this house so people must come to my house and that is why he gathered together his army and of course because they were from Abyssinia so they had elephants otherwise elephant did not live in Arabian Peninsula as natural beast or there but because he was from Africa so he had a group of African elephants and of course the people of Africa had trained the elephants to be instruments of war and this was when he marched to the Kaaba and he went and he went with his arm, army of around they say some say eight some say 20 elephants and the chief elephant by the way his name was Mahmud and it is also said that the Quraysh left the city after making lots of dua Abdul Muttalib is pleading in front of the Kaaba oh Allah we cannot fight this army they are too strong for us they have these elephants they have these thousands men whatever you take care of it and they then left to the mountains and this is when they faced Mahmud of the Kaaba and they are really and they are telling him to go go and go and he would not go even if they whipped him they beat him they bled him elephant would not move but whether they turned him in any other direction he would move in that direction that is when a large box came and this is the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so stones from Jahannam imagine stones from Jahannam in this world they are coming and in front of their eyes every stone hits an animal and a person and he literally dissolves his skin dissolves and he became a pile of broken and a molten flesh in front of the eyes of the people of Quraysh and it is said that Abraha himself suffered the first fate and they carried him back and his skin is dissolving entirely and he dies right before reaching his home in Amen so that he suffers the worst punishment that he is just about there and then he dies and he is buried over there there is also some hidden wisdom here, some semi mystical wisdom here that we have a Christian attacking a pagan, Abraha attacking Abdul Muttalib, and the Kaaba is the subject of the attack, and neither of them is able to defend. In fact, the one is attacking and the other and cannot defend.
and, and Allah defends the haram and who was living in the haram at the time Amina and she must have been the pregnant with our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so quite literally because he is born in the same year a few months later so this means this indicates that Allah Amina when the incident of feel take place our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is literally in the womb of Amina so there is a huge symbolism here that Allah himself protects not just the Kaaba but what else our prophet and this is it is as if to indicate that disbelievers could not protect the Kaaba they are not worthy of the Kaaba so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed those those everyone who attempted to harm the Kaaba there it will there will come now somebody who will be the worthy of the Kaaba and the Quraysh have not been the worthy to the level they deserve so somebody will now come and that is our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who purified it of its idols who made it in qibla direction and who returned it to the glory that it was and that is initial house that ibrahim alaihi wasallam built next episode will be based on the birth of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam till that time like share and subscribe this channel thank you very much